Hi guys, this is Nikhil here uh, from Mumbai Esports Championship and with me is uh, Mr. Sahil from Delhi. Hi Sahil, how are you? I'm doing great, uh, how about you? Yeah, so uh, I hear that uh, John T. Mr. Ankur has been able to, you know, like conjure the best format ever in FIFA that we have seen so far. So coming to the tournament, you must have had certain insights coming out from all the players of the industry. So what is your take on uh, the tournament format? Right, I was just going through the rules and they're pretty electric. I mean, I haven't seen uh, such a format in any tournament in India or outside India whatsoever. So it's pretty exciting and I'm pumped to play. Okay, so uh, let's just take things a bit uh, in a schematic manner. So let's just start from how you took FIFA, you know, as an esports uh, option in your life. Right, so li like most people, I have been a massive football fan and that is how my journey started. I bought uh, FIFA 12 if I'm not wrong and uh, it was uh, such a crazy game and it got me more into the esports side of things, more into the competitive side of, side of things. So that's how my journey started. I uh, started entering a few tournaments, lost in the initial few rounds but I didn't give up mm -hmm. and uh, I'm luck lucky to uh, be in such a position right now. Okay. So, the format of the tournament per se is uh, 8 qualified players against the 8 invited ones. So, how do you feel about being one of the invited players and being on those potentially top 8 players from the country? Right, uh, so I've, I'm one of the invited players uh, thanks to Jonti again. Uh, I think it's going to be tough for the qualified players because I think they're used to playing uh, in, in their home ground or Mumbai and uh, there are people from Delhi here, from Chennai here, from all parts of the country. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, very tough uh, for the home team. So we have certain big names on the cards and we have the likes of Saranj, we have the likes of Sudin. I, I don't, I'm not sure if Suja is making it. So. I see that as a lot of firepower. I think so Smash FIFA Championship, we had uh, Karan winning it and Karan is also here. So how do you treat your opposition? Whom do you think is the biggest threat and who is just uh, nobody? Uh, to be honest, I'm not really concerned. I mean, I know for a fact that if I play my game and I play my A1 game uh, today, I'm going to win the tournament. As simple as that. As far as rivalry is concerned, I think I'm going to go for the top spot. There are a lot of people who have coined Saranj as the best player in the country. Right. I think otherwise. But he just loses often to that little kid from Punjab, I think so. Right, right, right. Right, right. both uh, are great people, great players. But I'm going for the top spot. I know for a fact that if I play my A1 game, I'm going to beat both of, both of them. So that's what my goal for today is and I hope I'm able to succeed. Okay, so any planned strategies uh, that you have in place, like uh, are you going in for the tiki taka, are you going in for the wing play, are you having some possession play in mind, how do you, you know, like churn things about? Right, so I previously mentioned that I'm a massive football fan, so my main aim is to replicate football, real football into the game. So I like to keep hold of the ball, take things slow, uh, study my opponent's uh, style of play and adapt my gameplay according to... So you, you'd like that watch and learn category? Right. Right, so but when you come to the strategies coming in from different football teams and the legendary football teams, we had the likes of Rooney and Ronaldo, you know, like making it dependent on uh, two, you know, like it, it used to be two on 11 basically. And then the Manchester United of today and Real Madrid of today all have different play styles. So, how are you going to cope up with the fact that these guys have certain play, you know, play styles, but they are going to, you know, like conjure up a different scenario they're going to have different play styles given the fact that they are coming to a tournament so what do you have up your sleeve because this is a personal interview session so I you can i think this is less about the game and more about life i think one thing i've learned is that uh, uh, being rigid doesn't get you anywhere right. so that is what I've, my ga game style revolves around like i don't have one single play style mm -hmm. but what i do is study my opponents see how they're playing and try to uh, resort to counter-attacking mechanics so as to get past uh, tough opponents. Okay. So with that being said, uh, let's just get down to the main boiling point. What is your perception on Ankur? Ankur, Ankur is a great guy, uh, a solid personality, very cool. He's pi pi pioneering the FIFA scene in India and I uh, hope that uh, we are able to contribute as much as Ankur is. So that's a cliched answer, but what was the fact if Ankur was playing today, where would you rate him? How would be the opponents, you know, like around him, be treating him? Right, I mean, 
like you mentioned, like there is a lot of firepower in the tournament, and Ankur is obviously one of uh, gaming legends. I mean, he's been in the scene for so long, right. and would obviously uh, be a contender to win the tournament. So, but I'm glad he's not playing. Okay. <laughs> so, Sahil, uh, let's just uh, have another detail on you. Thank okay. You. So. It's often said that uh, the way you celebrate your goal, because goals aren't as frequent and as often in tournaments where you have tough competition. So, is there any special way where you, you know, like start daunting your opponent or something of that kind? Or can we see it right now? Right, I just dab on them haters. I mean, so, can we see it? Yeah. I mean, like, uh, there is a very psychological aspect attached to the celebration as well because this sort of frustrates your this it is your opponent a bit so last time around we saw certain opponents you know trying to demean their counterparts by you know like standing up and celebrating right on their faces right. are we going to see that from you for sure of course there's no doubt about that so cheers man and all the very best thank you so much thanks